All right, Olivia Williams, long, long time pal of mine back in the day, right? Single, before children, yeah. you were making a lot more trips to LA, I was making a lot more trips to London. Yes, we did some uh, staggering down some streets in LA in very high yeah. heels, I seem yeah. to remember. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Let's leave it there, moving yeah. on. <laughs> we're moving on. And you also have been working like crazy. I feel like I've seen you, well, I, actually, recently I've seen you in Anna Karina, mm -hmm. and um, obviously just now in Hyde Park on Hudson playing Eleanor Roosevelt. Are you sick of the sight of me? I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. always happy to see you. But the, the Eleanor Roosevelt, we have to talk about that. First of all, reunite you with Bill Murray, right? Yeah, yes, it, which was great. It actually served the piece really well that we were kind of uh, sort of battle war yeah. compatriots from 14 years ago. They, it gave the kind of long, long and weary marriage a, a, a genuine feel, mm -hmm. I hope. The relationship, it really for the first time, and all that we've as Americans, mm -hmm. and everything that we've heard about FDR and of Eleanor Roosevelt, and, and all the ways it's kind of been depicted in other movies, this is the first time you actually see what their day to day was. Mm. And she wrote a column called My Day, so she yeah. told us about it. But what I love about Richard Nelson's writing is that he, he just chose that day to illustrate. You know, if you made a biopic of Eleanor Roosevelt, it would yeah. go on for three months, you know, and she wrote the Declaration of Human Rights, mm -hmm. she transformed American, you know, civil rights politics and feminism and the whole lot. But you just see her in her domestic embodying all those things um, over a tea tray. Mm -hmm. As students in America, Eleanor Roosevelt, you're like, oh, yeah, like it's just exactly that. It's very, it's amazing. She's obviously one of the first women and feminists, blah, 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 but it feels like it's very heavy, and yeah. this was so light, and at the same time, giving you a real sense of it. Um, and it was a crazy setup yeah. there, you know, he, there was the big house with the with the terrifying mother-in-law, mm -hmm. and she said, I'm, I can't live with this, built herself a cottage in the grounds where her two lesbian carpenter friends yeah. lived, and they used to skinny dip in the swimming pool, yeah. and, you know, the, yeah, I bet you didn't learn that in high school. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> it was, um, all right, and then Anna Corinna, so you were just down there, obviously, that you didn't have to leave? No, I think the reason I'm in Toronto is um, because Focus Features got sort of, you know, buy one actress, get yeah. one free, uh, one, one first class round mm -hmm. trip, and I can talk about both movies. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but Anna Karenin is an astonishing piece of filmmaking, and uh, Joe Wright is a truly visionary mm. man, and um, I've got a small enough part in Anna Karenin to be able to say I unconditionally love it. It was yeah. great to see you. Very nice to see you. Congratulations so on your gorgeous family. Oh, you too, huh? Thank you. All right, great. Thanks a lot.